Hey guys, Tron Games here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about tips for Horde Beacons. Now, in my comment section, I saw a couple of you saying that you have trouble doing Horde Beacons, and it's like, it's pretty difficult, and I can understand that there's lots of aspects of that, so I'm going to give you some tips to help to further your chance of success for actually completing one. Anyways, let's begin. Now my first tip for doing a Horde Beacon Elver is use the Heat Wave. Now this weapon I praised a lot in my playthrough of it because of its insane damage to zombies. Now regardless, it will hit one tap to the head and one tap to the chest. Now this is like, this is really good because of all, because uh, usually like the uh, Horde Beacon zombies have a little bit, are a bit more tanky, so it's best to get rid of them as soon as possible. And considering they're all one tap, you'd probably go through about two, around two or three, like most likely two boxes worth of this stuff to kill all 135 zombies. And that is definitely much better than going through 300, 400, maybe even 500 low caliber bullets. Now, just a slight downside is its recoil. Hold on. Its recoil is a little bit high. It's it's pretty manageable when you're in third person, but for maximum recoil, uh, maximum recoil reduction, I choose to use muscle. Get out of here. Muscle brake, vertical grip, propane stock, and just by choice, I use a holographic sight. And see, that's definitely much better. Very easy to control. And you'll have no problem spraying down those zombies. Now my second tip for doing this horde beacon is prioritize acid spitters. Now these guys are not to be messed with and are really dangerous. Because of their acid, if you every second, I believe, is one per is ten percent of your health dot that is dealt to you, which can make a big difference if there's like lots of them spitting in your general direction and multiple acid puddles, which can basically mean the difference between you getting out with loot and you losing the horde beacon. Now another tip for completing the horde beacon is never go in one direction of Ghost Valley. My strat is just circling around the uh, circling around like the little lake over here because if in one general direction all the acid zombies will start spinning at you and that acid hurts like heck. And while moving in just different directions the acid can't exactly target you as well. You can give yourself more distance between zombies and you can just start Line them down. Now my final tip for Elder I Elver is bring as much healing as you can. Now that might seem really obvious, of course, but healing is very important, and it takes about it takes around three cloth to get a rag. So it takes a lot to get a single dressing. But if you have a nice cloth farm, or you could just hit up the mall for some clothes to salvage, you can get enough dressing in no time. I would like to thank you guys for watching the video and getting this far. If you did enjoy this little uh, tips thing, leave a like and a subscription, because it really helps me out and tells me that this is helping you guys out as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and bye!